It's me. Where everybody at? Oh, in here, darling. Hey, ma. Hi, sweetie, baby. How you been, love? Been right. What's up with you? Oh, nothing. Just taking something out to defrost for your father's dinner. What's wrong with you? Why do you always think something wrong with me, Ma? Honey, your mother's intuition. Well, for the record, ain't nothing wrong with me. Isn't nothing wrong with you. You're right. You're right, Ma. Isn't nothing wrong with me. Um. So, how you been? You need any money? No, my love. But do you know what I really need? And what is that, Ma? For my son, Daryl, to start living his life right, so I can sleep better at night. Don't start, Ma. Baby, I don't want to lose another son in jail for seven years. Or worse, death. I know, Ma. I do gotta get myself together. But speaking of my brother, you know, um, how you making out? Is he still working? If you wasn't so busy all the time, you would know. You could go ask him. He's upstairs packing right now. Packing for what? That's a shame. You don't even know. You know what, Ma? Your brother brought a little run-down house three months ago. And after work, he's been fixing on it ever since. And now it's livable. And he'll be moving in this coming weekend. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to go up and see him. Look, I'm going, Ma. Mm, love you. Right, love you, too. All right. I'm going to see you later. Oh, oh, matter of fact, I got some money for you here. Yeah, it's $200. All right, I'm going to leave it on the table for you. Man, hey, what's up, Raynard? Yo, what's up, family? How you been, man? What's up? I ain't nothing, man. Hey, man, why you treat me like a stepchild, man? Man, what you talking about, baby brother? I hear you get ready to pack up, you ready to move to this new spot, you ain't even put me down. Man, I haven't even seen you, man. You know that street light keeps you from coming around. Matter of fact, I've been trying to catch you. I want to talk to you about that. You got a few minutes to talk to your big brother. I only need a few minutes of your time, that's all. Hey, what's up? I think this, man. I ain't trying to do no preaching. And I said I won't sweat you about how you've been living. But you know, I did the same thing. But I just need to talk to you, man. Because I got so much love for you. Because as you know, I was a bad example for you when we was coming up. Ho, 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 slow down, fam. What you mean you was a bad example for me, man? Look up to you, man. You was like my idol. Man, you weren't no bad example of me, man. Chill, man. Just listen for a minute, all right? When I was down for them seven years, I had a lot of time to mature, thanks to the grace of God. And as I was maturing as a person, I realized how fake a lot of people were. Boys, they promising me they're going to wait for me to them dudes that I looked out for on the street, and for them sucker clowns that I was with in prison. As I was growing as a better person, I realized that all the problems that we have, we blame on the white man. But don't get me wrong, they do play a major part in the problems by allowing all these things to go on in the inner cities, such as the guns and the drugs. But then I realized, out of all the money that I made, and it was a lot, all I was was a puppet for the man doing all his dirty work. So what I'm saying is you have to break that puppet mentality and realize who and what you are. A strong black man with the God-given ability to be whoever and whatever you want to be and be successful at it. Now that's all I'm going to say on that, little bruh. You be your own man. You make the choice. Man, you've been home for one year. So why you just come to me telling me this nonsense? And let me ask you something. When are you going to be something? You got a nine to five struggling just like the rest of these poor fools around here. For one, I didn't say nothing to you because I'm no fool. I know you're making major money out there and ain't not nobody can say a dude that's going to make you change. I just wanted to make sure that I told you something positive to go along with all the negative things I represented in your eyesight. When you were a young buck. Now, as for my status, brother, you better ask somebody. I just got my book published that I wrote when I was down. I've been promoted down at the power plant. I'm working to be supervisor, making 50000 a year just to start. And the money that you were sending me when I was down, 
is invested in six rundown houses that will be fixed and ready to be rented out in about six months. One of those is an apartment building with a storefront, which has already been made a deposit on to be used as a barbershop. And one more thing, it was cool to believe that to be ignorant was the end thing to be when we were children. Now we're grown up, so wake up before it's too late. And if you need any motivation, just think of your children. Take this, Raina. You know I got much love and respect for you, so I'm going to be straight. I'm too far in it, and I don't see no way out. And to be truthful, I don't even know if I want out. <sighs> but on the strength, what you said, I'm going to keep in mind. But let me ask you a question, man. How before you went to prison, you was living so large? But then you come home and you're living so low. Don't you miss the good life, man? I'll have it again, but with a good conscience. By working slow and low, with a little hard work will make me appreciate it. Because for real, I'm blessed just to have another chance, man. I left a lot of brothers in jail with life that may never have another chance. Yeah, well, I understand, brother. Look, man, I'm out, man. All right, man. Listen, man. Stop by and see me more often. Here's my new address. All right, man. If you still respect me like you say you do, then what I say is some thought, all right? I will, man. Peace them out. Well, well, well. It ain't the legend. You know, all the legends I know is dead. Tell them I said hello to them.